Hi, my name is Ed, and we're going to do some subtraction. Um, we'll do two examples. The first example will have numbers that are larger on top, and in the second example will be a bit more difficult. The numbers at the bottom will be larger, so we'll have to do something a bit extra. So the first example we have is 3,699. Take away 3,481. We'll start from the right-hand side with the, with, the, with the smaller numbers. So here, 9 take away 1 is 8. 9 take away 8 is 1. 6 take away 4 is 2. And this is going to be 0. In the second example, we'll have numbers that are larger at the bottom. So let's do 4,234. Take away 1,667. So the way we handle this is, 4 take away 7 we can't do. But instead of crossing out, we can use another technique. We can borrow 1 and pay back at the bottom. This becomes 14 take away 7, which is 7. It's important to realize that this is now 6 plus 1, which is 7. So 3, take away 7, you can't do. You repeat the process. You borrow 1, you pay back. 13, take away 7 now, is going to be 6. And again, we have a similar situation. 2, take away 7, is going to be something you can't do. So you repeat the process. 12, take away 7 now, is 5. And the last one is going to be 4 take away 2, because it's 1 plus 1, and that's 2. And as you can see, instead of crossing out, we use this borrowing technique. And the largest number that we used is 1.